Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So in this video, we are going to discuss what is Spring Data REST repository and how we can use it to create our REST APIs without using the Spring Web. So let's get started for that. So first of all, let me go to the IntelliJ and create one simple Spring Boot application. So go to the file new project and let me try to create a simple Spring Boot project which is Spring Boot REST API using REST repository something like that REST repo okay this is the Maven project and go next let me try to include the REST repository starter dependencies so first of all i am including the lombok we are not going to use the spring web without spring web we are going to create the rest apis with the help of rest repository so you can see this rest repository this is the starter dependency that we are going to use just select it and for the database i am going to use the spring jpa sorry spring data jpa and the database that i'm going to use is mysql so for that i'm going to use the mysql driver so this starter dependency this four starter dependency we are including in our project we are not including the spring web and without that also we are going to create our rest apis okay so just create it and wait for a few seconds to configure itself okay so you can see this is started resolving the dependency that we have included once it is resolved we can start doing the development so it is very simple we are not going to create the risk controller and create the apis there even we are not going to create the service layer also what we are going to do we are going to simply create the entity and one repository and from there after our work will be done and we can access some apis all the CRUD apis we can access i will try to show you those things so i think yeah our dependency are resolved let me go to the source main and java and let me create this packages here so let's say the package is entity and i'm going to create one more package which is repository okay we are not going to create the service package or service layer and controller layer it will automatically be created so in the entity let me try to create the product entity here okay and edit let me try to create couple of attributes here so let's say we are going to create the id name price and quantity okay and let me try to use lombok and create all argument constructor no argument constructor data which is used for the getter and setter and to string and we are going to create a table here and let's say the table name is product a product something like that include table here and our id would be unique so for that we are going to use the id okay so we are good now now let me go to the repository create one product repo here okay so come here it is an interface so select the interface and it is product repo add this extend this with the jpa repository and we need to provide this two argument one is our entity 
class and another is the type of id so in entity we have a id as an integer type so we need to provide the second second argument as an integer so come here let me try to minimize this and it will be integer okay now let me try to import it so we are good now so this is what we need to develop we need to create one entity we need to create one repository and after that we need not to create any service layer and any controller layer okay now let me go to the application properties file and do some configuration here to connect with our database so first of all let me come here and let me try to create one db here so this is the mysql just click on this db icon and here you can provide your database name let's say the database i'm going to create is product database something like that okay product database copy this name apply here and apply finish so our product database is created you can come here and select it and go to the table refresh it you can see we don't have any table now what we need to do i already have uh, written this code for the configuration just copy this come here to the application properties file and paste it here i will provide the link of uh, this repository in our video description so from there after you can find it out and you can see here we have provided the url of the mysql and our mysql is up on the port number 3306 and let me try to change the database so what is the database that we have created go to the database here and this is the database that we have created copy the name and come here to the IntelliJ and provide the database name here this is my username and the password and this configuration is for the automatically creating some uh, hibernate commands okay and our application will be up on the port number 9000 okay now let me try to run this application okay so just wait for it to up and then we can see okay so we are getting some exception here let me try to come and see come here to the product let me try to annotate this with at the rate entity and then rerun this application and this time you can see our application is up on the port number 9000 earlier it was giving the error because it was not able to create the bean of this entity class because we have not configured the entity here now it is good so what we can do we can go to the browser and we can hit some apis here so our application is up on the port number 90 so we are going to hit the uh, application which is up on the port number 9000 locally so let me try to hit it and you can see it has given one h reference here okay and this is the profile so these are some uh, documentation that uh, this api is giving to us let me try to copy this http localhost 9000 and product copy this open a new tab paste it here and then just enter as of now we don't have any products you can see it is empty okay so what we are going to do we are going to insert one product in our db so let me go to the db and then show you here earlier we don't have any tables now we have one table which is product okay so we have the table now but we don't have anything inside our table let me try to run this command so the table name is products let me try to run this command and you can see we have like the table is created but we don't have any value inside the table now 
let me try to go to the postman and let me try to create one record inside our table okay so what is the url for the api let me go to the browser and the url is this copy this url come to the postman and paste it here okay and you can also hit uh, this git mapping from here as well let me try to hit it you can see we don't have any products now let me try to insert one product so you can come here to the post and this is the product that we are going to insert id is one name is mobile price is 10,000 and the quantity is one now just send it so here you can see we have inserted this product in our db you can come here to the db and also check it so just run this query and you can see one record is there now go to the postman and try to hit the get mapping as well and see how it is working now you can see in product earlier we were having empty products but now we have one product similarly you can create couple of more products let me try to hit the post api so let me try to change the id to two and now let's say it is laptop and the price is seventy thousand, and the quantity is one just send it it is also inserted so you can see we are able to hit the get as well as the post api and we are able to insert couple of record in our database as well even we have not created any spring web or controller layer or the service layer we are directly able to get this api and use it so this is the importance of the spring data rest repository now let me try to uh, use this uh, put api and see if it is working or not so before that let me try to uh, use the api which is find by id okay so here you can provide the id and then just send it and you can see we are able to get the product one okay similarly if you want to get the product two you can replace uh, the id with two and then send it you can see you are able to get the second product as well so this get by id is also working fine similarly if you want to update it so you can choose the put and let's say you want to update the price of your laptop to 80,000 then send it and here you can see it is updated now if you want to check it you can hit the gate api and then let me try to find the second product which is laptop here okay so the price is 70,000 okay so we have updated the price for the mobile i think so let me try to get the first product and here you can see the first product is also changed to the laptop and this is the body that we have passed so that is why it is changed and it's priced it 8000 now let me try to change it to the mobile and let's say the price is 80000 only so we are changing the name okay so the method would be put and then send it so you can see so let me try to hit the get api and we are getting all the products so let me try to hit it so you can see we have the mobile and we have the laptop okay so get post update all these apis are working fine let me try to use the delete api and then see so let's say we are going to delete the product number one or two let's say so the second product is a laptop right so just delete it and it is deleted now let me try to find the second product and see so just get it so it is not there now let me try to find all the products And you can see we have only mobile not laptop you can also come here to the database and check it we have only mobile here so all the crud apis are working fine even we have not implemented the service as well as the controller layer so this is the importance of the rest repository you can directly create the apis and use it so if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks